Oh, oh we just got back from seeing Godzilla. Yeah. Gojira! So you want to go first? What you thought? Oh, you went first? I did. Oh. I mean... What'd you think? I was exactly what I expected, so... <laughs> How could I complain? So you mean to say you thought the story wasn't that great? Or that interesting, but there was a bunch of fighting, so you liked it? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, pretty much. Yeah? Yeah. Honestly, like, I could have still probably been happier with even more monsters. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. But, like, you could just probably take all the humans out and I'd be happy, so... <laughs> I've definitely been, like, more on board with the quote-unquote villains of stories recently. Oh my god. And I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> what does that what, what say? What does it say about me? Like, we can talk more about the story when we go into spoiler territory, yeah. but yeah, like, the human stuff was like, eh, whatever. I think it was better than, That's than in exactly. the 2014 movie. I, I do yeah. think it, it was like, I, in, I enjoyed it more than I did the 2014 movie, the human aspect yes. of it. I was going to say, if you're disappointed, in my opinion, with the 2014 movie, uh, story-wise, and with the human involvement, you'll probably like this one more. I think at so. Least, at least by comparison. I liked all the monster designs. I was surprised by Rodan's design. I, I was not expecting, like, Griffin. I, I guess, like, I kind of got a vibe they were trying to be like, oh, dinosaurs had feathers. Again, without any spoilers, Mothra, I think, is, like, officially best girl. Best girl. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. 12 out of 10. Best girl. <laughs> oh, God. I think you pretty much summed it up. Um, I think I probably liked the story and the human aspect of it more than you did. We got we got new main characters in this movie, basically. Without again, without going into spoilers. Yeah. The doctor, Doctor Serizawa from the first movie, does return. Ken Watanabe. And Watanabe. So, regard, I would say the best character from the first movie, the best human character from the first movie, gets more screen time and more story and more backstory. Honestly, I was really pleasantly surprised by that. The amount of screen time that the kaiju got, I mean, it's good. It's, it's yeah, good. It's good. I, I liked it. If you like Godzilla, go see it. I feel like if somebody watched this who doesn't care about kaiju, they would be like, it's good. Yeah. But, but if you like monster movies or action movies uh -huh. or anything like or, that. Or disaster movies. Or disaster movies, like, like, there's no reason not to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, spoilers. Okay, so time. going into spoilers. Okay. Um, Can we just like dive into it? Yeah. Okay. yeah what was that city? Which one? The Atlantis or whatever. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, first of all, that was really cool. Second of all, like the tunnel thing, that was hilarious. That made yeah. me laugh so hard. Third of all, there was definitely, definitely, probably, maybe, I don't know. There was definitely a skeleton. Yeah. Oh, there's like cones and everything. I got confused. Um, no, I, I did not see that. Uh, I think I saw one. Okay. It was definitely probably there. It's probably Godzilla's mom. I don't think it means anything. I just thought yeah. it was really cool. There, there's this part where they're going through this place, which I, I, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to assume is like Atlantis or like Lemuria or Mu or some, yeah. you know, someplace like that. Yeah. And there's all this like. Um, <laughs> All these like hieroglyphs basically are like pictographs all over the walls. And and they and they comment, they comment, they're yeah. like, oh, it's like Egyptian. Yeah. Or it's well, like It's even older. It's, they are yeah. Greek or Roman. Yeah. Or I think it's said Roman. Yeah. And, and then the, the guy's like, no, this is even older. But then there's a picture of Godzilla and it has Godzilla's name written in katakana. Which is like, wait, what? Wait. I think it's supposed to be like a little like... Like an Easter egg? Yeah, yeah. like that whole sequence is a little strange. And it was it was strange that nobody addressed like, where? oh, this is probably a lost civilization. Yeah, like, yeah. they were just like, oh, we know where we are. Uh -huh. Like everybody just knows like, honestly, like if you go into this with expecting any kind of like high scientific oh, thing like you will not be pleased no. but because there was like that one part where he like they have a single man sub that can hold a nuclear missile right. like specifically right. and it's like why is this on the submarine and it's just yeah. so convenient that that didn't happen to get damaged when everything else got damaged mm -hmm. it's like okay like mm -hmm. you got to suspend your disbelief a little bit no absolutely they rectified any issues any major like structural or narrative issues that the first movie had. Mm -hmm. Like this one isn't just 
a road movie where mm -hmm. the one guy is following the path of destruction. This is like all over the place. You're in Mexico and our Antarctica and North America, and like there are certain parts, like cutaway parts that take place in Europe and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some parts in China, like yeah. Mothra's in, in uh, what, where was it, Yunnan province? I think like so, in the rainforest? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was just, it was all over the place and it was great. And honestly, the fight scenes were so much better shot in this movie. Yeah, um, I could see what was going on. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> and it wasn't, even though a lot of them were at night or during storms, they were in different places, not just in the city. So it wasn't just a bunch of cooties, just a bunch of gray. Like, there's a fight scene in Antarctica when Ghidorah gets woken up and Godzilla comes and tries to fight. And so it's like, it's at night, but it's all white. Yeah. So you can see what's going on yeah. against the white backdrop. Now, I 100% I will say, like, there were plenty of things that I was like, that's convenient. Yeah, like, I oh mean, yeah. you, you have to be able and be willing to suspend that disbelief mm -hmm. because if you aren't and like, you're going to try to like logic through this movie, mm -hmm. I don't think you'll enjoy it no. because there's just so much going on that you just have to kind of accept that like, yes, this is what is happening. Now let's talk about, uh, the whole like villain thing that we brought up earlier. Yeah, okay. I, okay. So basically what it is, is there are two scientists who in their graduate as, as graduate students uh they developed a system that allowed them to speak with orcas killer whales yeah orcas are scary yeah anyway. that's why they're called wolves of the sea yeah. which was like good that the guy like he had studied falling. orcas and yeah. then he like was went to wolves like it was yeah. like okay i understand yeah. i totally yeah. buy this like i was like on board yeah. they learned how to use it to, to communicate right at, on, a, on a basic level yeah okay so the chick decides that she wants to create balance in the world mm -hmm. by releasing all of them mm -hmm. and I was like yeah I'm okay with that actually and like yeah. everybody's like call it like you bitch you know and yeah, like all yeah. this stuff and I was like yeah but yeah but I'm okay with that mm -hmm. actually like but then it came up later that Ghidorah is an alien yep. and so there can't be any balance right. I was like oh I see what you're doing if you go back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe oh, yeah. I was like I was totally on board with Thanos yeah I was like yeah man you go ahead and snap your finger I don't care like <laughs> apparently movies are just kind of going that direction because mm -hmm. that's just the climate but I did love I loved that it was the daughter who survived and the daughter who like had the initiative oh, yeah. to just like do it and yeah that was cool yeah oh the the ad oh the ipads gosh darn but they were all turned on they no all the ipads in the movie i was and they were all just like oh let me go grab my ipad like in my science like my super scientific lab let me go grab my ipad i was yeah. like could we like make it more obvious like yeah yeah i mean i get it but i was like oh my gosh it's the like, ipads of it all it's like everybody in the transformers universe using bing instead of google oh my gosh yeah. now we did talk about that though there were a ton of advertisements there's like a they go to the stadium yeah fenway park fenway which is park. the red sox home stadium yeah so they go there and there's a ton of advertisements like the dunkin donuts the word and all that uh -huh. But that was fine. Yeah, cause because you expect that at a... You expect that yeah. at a place like that, at a freaking baseball stadium. Like, yeah, there's going to be advertisements there. So mm -hmm. that was fine. Advertisements. You get me, okay? Also, side note, I don't know why theaters do this, but that oh. lady who oh came God. into our theater... She screw had, you this, this, she, screw you she had a paper she was taking notes and she had a flashlight she's like had her little freaking flashlight on while it's like my baby is on screen and like protecting her man and I was just like listen y'all need to get your stuff out of here right now yeah. so I can enjoy my giant monsters like yeah. that lady I was so mad I, I mean, was like theaters could you not do yeah, this it's like not, could it's you not, not? Her fault. she's just doing her job she's but doing her job but she's doing it bad well no I just don't understand why her job has to happen during the movie during the movie I like yeah. I think they're taking attendance but like don't you have ticket sales for that like uh I mean, maybe anyway, sure that I'm just complaining yeah. because I was distracted from my baby. Yeah. 